Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 PvP video. I finally got the God Roll multi mock. It took me a lot. I think I had like 2,000 Iron Banner tokens, but we finally got it. This could be better, and I could have a little more range, uh, you know, with the range handling or uh, range masterwork, I mean, but I'm not sweating it too hard. I just really wanted the. Uh, Killing wind and kill clip combo to be honest and I finally got it. I've had so many of these drop really and they just weren't the right rule sadly So I just wanted to take it for a little quick run in the uh, iron banner before it went away um, I have a lot of experience with kill clip so uh, should be good with the uh, timings and stuff And uh, Killing Wind is just kind of easy money to get roll with. Pairing it with a Grenade Launcher, I think Grenade Launchers do a really good job of covering the weaknesses of SMGs. I think uh, Grenade Launchers are really strong right now. I don't know if I think they're OP. Once you start playing with Grenade Launchers a lot, I think you learn how to play against them really well. So if you find yourself getting really frustrated by them, just uh, Try, try them out, you know? I see a lot of people say they like don't like them, and to me that just makes it sound like they're not very good with them. And it's kind of frustrating when you're getting destroyed by something and you think, oh, it's overpowered, and then you play with it and it's like annoyingly bad. And I feel like that's what like, a lot of people do with these, and then they just continue slandering them online. I don't know. I mean, I, there's definitely times where I've died to a grenade launcher and I've been like, wow, that felt cheap. But so many times, uh, you know, people will be like, oh, I'm dying to so many grenade launchers. And then they're dying to a shotgun like 50 times more. So, of course, we're on like the worst map ever in this like really quick game I queued up into. But uh, it's going to be a little dead air. I don't want to complain too much about the grenade launchers. It's supposed to be a little positive video. Got my god roll finally. Look at that range. Hitting some nines. Uh, that guy got heavy, I think. I think he's going to push left. Why would you peek that angle? He was safe. I was about to cancel and then he walked out. Oh, nice shot. Hit me through the bridge. Let me know if you guys uh, use grenade launchers, though. I, I I don't know. A lot of stigma. In this game, though, it just really feels like everything is pretty easy to use. So complaining about, like, one thing is just kind of short-sighted, I guess. It's like you're using really easy to use uh, hand cannons, you know? Like, it's not like anything in this game is really impressive. <laughs> I think it's just... People taking something a little too seriously. I'm really excited about this uh, freeze change that's coming, where if you get frozen in the air, you can break out immediately instead of waiting till you fall. It's such an annoying feature of freeze, honestly, and it's like the main uh, way I die in freeze. Like I need to learn to like just uh, not jump when I'm about to get frozen. A lot of times you don't know you're about to get frozen, but like right there, I did actually know. Uh, he peeked the other way. Um, I'm dead from this random guy. Feels like they kind of set up a little bit more, played a little more defensive. Um, they still have B though, which is impressive. Considering I it's just really like not dying. They can peek out if they need to, if we start capping, but they definitely have some good map control here. Oh, that's my teammate. With, uh, okay. With three peaking getting fixed, I think uh, grenade launchers will be probably the next best thing to deal with te uh, cheaters. You can uh, hit them around corners and stuff, and I don't know like what other options we're really going to have against cheaters once three peaking is gone. Okay. Uh... Always kind of surprising to me when I get like a really close range. Dude, no way. How did that guy not die? Grenade launcher kill. 
They're really hard to pull off. I don't have proximity nades on this, actually. Kind of my uh, little secret on these. I uh, ran uh, spike grenades for a while, thinking that was the only way to get a one-shot kill. I mean, as you've seen, though, I've gotten a few now. And I'm using high velocity rounds. I like those a lot more for your longer range kills. Wow, I am hitting all the grenade launcher shots. <laughs> that one was pretty impressive. That was a long range one. He just strafed back into it. That one was less impressive because he was weak. I had a little more leeway on it. Okay, good timing on that one. They're just fun to use. I, maybe they are easy and I'm just crutching and not wanting to admit it, but a lot of times, like, I feel like it was a hard shot. Wow, that guy was super laggy. Oh my god, Hunter jump. He should not have survived that. Whoa, what killed me? That was weird. I feel like this is like the worst game to upload when you're talking about how grenade launchers are not overpowered. Like, this is like the most accurate grenade launcher game I've ever had. Oh, get destroyed. Oh no. Really good against Golden Gun too, actually. Because they don't have bonus armor. It kind of sucks against uh, a lot of supers. I'm gonna see if I can get out. I'm I'm surprised I was alive for that long to be honest. That's why I wasn't moving for a second. There's so many supers pop. Oh, I did no damage there. Did he push back through the grenade? Dude, this guy won't die. That dude would not die, man. I hit him with like three grenade launchers, my grenade, some SMG. Resilience, man. He must be on tier 3000. Got a little tea bag. I think I earned that one. I uh, appreciate that guy letting me know I was getting in his head a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I'd eat that guy survived that it I'm leaving this guy one HP so much. Just trying to get my chip damage in, get out. What are you doing? That was all movement, no shooting, brother. You gotta mix it in. That guy was zooming in probably with uh, Top Tree Dawn. I am, one, I for one, pretty happy that's getting nerfed. That uh, double dodge is just kind of unwieldy, like really hard to play against. If they're sniping on Top Tree Dawn, it's just like super oppressive. If you're trying to snipe on the other team in Trials. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy with the way they did it. I thought they were going to do just a uh, melee nerf. Just because, uh, you know, there's a lot of like PvE people like the do double dodge, but I guess they didn't care about that as much as I thought they might. Uh, great game, 50 score, but 33 defeats. Probably like most grenade launcher kills, so sorry this celebratory god roll video turned into a uh, grenade launcher video, but you know, that's how it goes when you have a grenade launcher on. Very strong, I'm not going to deny that, but I think they're really fun, so I'm going to keep defending them. Sorry if that annoys you or offends you. Uh, pro tips though, high velocity, uh, quick draw, auto loading. I mean, I don't think you can get this even anymore. I think um, that new strike one, that solar one, I can't remember the name, is pretty good, has some pretty good rolls. It's just gonna be like super grindy to get. So good luck with that, I guess. True Teller is not.
greatest, but it has uh, it has quick draw auto loading as well. But that's also a pretty lucky one to get since it's just a random world drop. Um, let me know what you guys got in the Iron Banner this week, though. I'm pretty much walking away with multi mock and some pretty good armor, and that's about it. Like this piece of armor is pretty good, I thought. But uh, if you like the video, please like the video. And uh, if you want to see more of these PvP videos, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.